best drink of the day. I, I wait for someone to say I wanna tell you something new. You drove us both into a wall. I drive away into the night and I, I contemplate for a while. Hi everybody and welcome back to Built Not Bot Campers. Today we're away. We're not at the workshop, we're away. And what we're gonna do, show you my bed for the night, shall we? That's where I'm sleeping tonight. So, we've come to one of these self-build meets again and I'm scouting while I'm here, although I'm working, I'm scouting while I'm here for vans for the International Camp Van Show. Um, especially to go on the display stand with me and I have managed to find a lot a lot of good vans a lot of good people and a hell of a lot of good stories so we're gonna take a wander around so you can have a look at some of these vans now um, so we're just gonna go for a walk and really that's it um, so let's cue the music and show you what's going on So part of this get together, we help each other out. And good old Alex here is helping this lady fit some flooring in a van. So yeah, we completely strip out vehicles, almost. <laughs> that is the key. Will he get it back together in time?
there's a lot going on in this field. And if you come to the International Camper Van Show in Stratford on September the 18th and 19th, a whole bundle of these people and these vans are gonna be there. And you've got everything, Mercedes Varios, VW Crafters, we have Mercedes Sprinters, we have also Peugeot Boxers, Fiat Ducatos, everything going. So every single van on this planet you wanna see self-built, this is the place to find them. Shows like this, self-built get-togethers. Especially the International Camper Van Show. I know I keep plugging that a lot, but the reason that is because they made me manager of the self-build area and I've got to fill that, fill that area up with some special vans. And we do have some really special ones coming. So fingers crossed. And just when I say to you, there's a whole nother field, load of vans. Look at that. These weekends are amazing. So if you buy yourself a van, or you got a van, you started building it, or you want to build it, check out the link in the description below. I'll leave the group down there that we all are. And book to come along to one of these events. People help help you build your van. There's people giving away stuff here um, that people have used on their vans, and they've got too much of it, so and you've got anybody here, we have people that are good at electrics, people that are good with gas, carpentry, solar. I say it's a field, well this one, two fields full of experts that have done it, done it, and done it again. So let's have a look around this field, shall we? Literally anything happens at these shows and these events we go to is great. As you just saw, there's me sitting there eating a bit of lunch. Sorry, a bit of dinner. It's tea time. And then one of these micro light, is it micro light? Whatever they're called. Backpack tasks. I have no idea what they're called. Sort of start, start circling. And before I know it, he come right in close. 
as you see on the footage. And then he landed. I wonder what's going on. Anyway, we've had a chat with the guy. He's also another van lifer guy. And that equipment he manages to carry in his van. Apparently he's gonna pop over later anyway, so hopefully we get to meet him again. But this opportunity was too good to miss, so we've got to get him when he's taken off. He was absolutely determined to do that, weren't you? Yes, I was. Determined yeah. to get it on your back at least. Yeah. He's Go on, Gary, strap me up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boss, help me, help me out of this. <laughs> it's amazing what a van lifer will do just to get in, in into the camera. Yeah, just to get in there, come on. He's been dying to get this thing on his back. The guy took the keys out of it just in case. <laughs> we'll see if we can get him running along behind it, trying to chase him to hang on. Oh, holding on to his tail. Yeah. Come on, you're a fit young lad. <laughs> if it doesn't work, I'll just stop and I'll try in that field. But it should be alright. He's even got the GoPro holder and he hasn't got it on there. Come on. <laughs> should be filming all this. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to be running this way. Yeah. So everyone can stand at the sides of me. Just like that. Look great. Good morning everybody, oh, I've just woke up, not long ago anyway, so, and I've been good, I've made the bed, I sound a bit croaky, so you can tell I've just woke up, today, I'm going to review something, and again, it's nothing that I've been sent for free or anything like that, this is something that I bought, and I see it on another channel, but I didn't see it getting used. Now, what it is, it's a toaster for your camp stove. So anybody who's going camping, got a camper van, even a caravan, 
obviously not everybody's got the grill or an oven or anything like that to use to make toast with and i like a bit of toast in the morning for breakfast sometimes so i've got this thing it's called it's made by Coglands, and it's a camp stove toaster so i review this and i'll put a link in the description below and we're going to make some toast first of all we've got to build it um it all clips together apparently when i say build it it's not that bad so let's get it out of the box let's get it built and then let's put it on the the hob you have got to put it on there for three minutes then put your bread on to do the toast so fingers crossed in a little bit we'll have a little bit of toast to eat so let's get on with it <laughs> Okay, so you don't have to build it or clip it together. Okay, this is interesting. Um, oops, okay. Oh, I see. I'm really cack handed people, so I think I might have. So at least you know I'm telling the truth when I've just opened saying I've just opened it. Yeah. I haven't broken it. Not this time. So it's as simple as that. So I've got it. So to pack it away, just fold this oh dear I know, maybe not. Let's pack that one down. Put that one down. Put that one down. Put that one down like that. So, something like that, to pack it away. Right, so now I've got to put that on the hob for three minutes. So let's light the hob up. It's all real life stuffy, you know. Right, so once that's been on there for three minutes, I'll come back to you and we'll get some bread on there. See how well it does. Right, so let's get some bread on there. I'm going to toast four pieces because I'm not going to eat four pieces. But we need to see how well this works. failed at the first hurdle bread's too big for the toaster right so there's there is something this bread is too big for this toaster we're still going to see how well it does or not do all right let's pull this out a bit give it a sporting chance So I've done burn my fingers, I'm going to use a pair of tongs to turn them over. So, personally, next time I will get myself one of the smaller loaves of bread, the smaller slices.
So because the toast, because the bread's too big for this toaster, and I've turned it over, you can see it's starting to cook down here a little bit. So I thought I'd try and leave it with two pieces, turn it over and see if that cooks any better. Um, we will see. I'll be back to you. Right. So far, I'm not very impressed with this. Look. It's cooked it there. Burnt it there. So I will say, I'm not impressed. Now, let's see what the other piece is doing. Not a lot. It's hard like toast. It's not browned off like toast. So my review of this, as far as on my hob in my van, hmm, I'm not too sure. I think I need to try it with some smaller size bread. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to get um, a small loaf picked up for me get it dropped off here and tomorrow morning I'm gonna give it a go with some smaller bread slices so yeah it's out of 10 so far I'm pretty much on a zero for this one um, if anybody knows what I'm doing wrong or if I'm doing something wrong if you comment down below um, but I will leave a link to this in the description still anyway but please let me let me know what you know but i'll be back shortly to you but it's tomorrow morning for me and i'll try it with some smaller slices and maybe some lighter weight bread i don't know it's a toaster I should put up the bread any type of bread anyway that's me for now and i'll see you shortly Hi again everybody we're going to give it another go and we've got some smaller sliced bread so first of all I need to light the hob. The hob is now lit. That's back on there. We're gonna give that two or three minutes to heat up, as it says. With a nice small loaf. Hopefully, we'll get some toast going this morning. And as I said, I don't care whether this works or it don't work, this video's going out. Oh. It was a very busy day yesterday here and um, so we've got about 100 vans on this side at the moment um this self-build get together and bless somebody that had an accident last night fell out of a van totally sober in fact it was more like yesterday afternoon and um the foot didn't look good i just said it was broken but we've just had information from uh, the van itself, or not the van itself, from the, the other person in the van, and the person involved are okay. They've just sprained it, but it did look bad. It wasn't exactly the shape that it should have been to me, but it's only sprained. So, thank goodness for that. Nothing major happened. The only thing was, it took three hours to get an ambulance, so, and apparently they're very, very busy at the moment. But, uh, seems to be everywhere I go all I hear is about when people want an ambulance unless you actually got a heart attack stroke or something life-threatening you're lucky to get one so anyway listen to that she's okay everything's fine and we're doing toast well, hopefully I really fancy some toast <clears throat> I know if it doesn't work in this I can do toast to my ridge monkey Right, once that's heated up and I put the bread on, I'm gonna turn the camera around before I put the bread on, and then we'll time lapse that to see if it works. See if the bread fits actually. Oh yeah, the bread, bread fits perfect. Right, that's been about three minutes now. So let's put the bread on the cradle. Let's have a look, see how we get on. I'm not bloody impressed, not at all. Right, so let me show you this. It 
it's toasted this little bit at the bottom now I've done exactly as the instructions said on the box so listen carefully it says instructions lift the toasting frames so they snap firmly in place use toaster on the main burner of your gas camp stove operates operate stove full open wait two or three minutes for the toaster to get hot then place bread on the frames i did everything by the instructions and i never do anything by the instructions and literally so we have feels like toast problem is it's not browned off very high that one hasn't browned at all that one only just going brown so is that one and just going brown and just so you know it's on the biggest day with possible it's on the big one and it's on full and it's taken ages just to get the bread to where it is now I'd be better off using a bloody blowtorch on it I'll tell you something if you're hungry god you'll be definitely hangry by the time you get your toast ready if it does ever get ready because it'll burn before it goes brown through oh right so I'm gonna put this video out there because you know I like to review stuff I like you know especially if I buy stuff and want to use it but to be honest with you don't waste your money on this one and just so you know what it is camp stove toaster it's only about six quid but do you know what why would you sell a piece of crap that doesn't work I don't get it do you know what they better off getting the metal and try to take it weighing up and taking the scrap yard and building that oh, that sounds really harsh I know but do you know what I'm, I'm starving it's breakfast time and I'm starving I'm getting a bit mm, antsy over it but this thing do you know I fancy a bit of toast I could do toast in my ridge monkey damn sight quicker okay I can only get one piece of bread in there but it makes no difference I could have a full size piece of bread at like that not these pansy little things like this and it would do in about it do a damn sight quicker than this thing will ever do if it ever does it so yeah so for this one it's definitely a thumbs down um i don't I hope you don't put the thumbs down on the video but um let me know what you think in the description no not in the description in the comments let me know what you think tell me if there's any better way of using this thing because i'm completely lost on this one do you know it's the biggest waste of money i can think of i spoke to another couple on site who said they bought one and had exactly the same problem so it's not like it's even just me and i'm glad i spoke to them to be honest with you because i still want to do this this morning just put it to the test i thought oh, i'll prove them wrong yeah hmm what do you think that took about five minutes to get where that was so we won't be using that anymore so i'm going to do go and do myself some proper breakfast because i'm really hungry <laughs> and i'm going to say goodbye to you for now i hope you've enjoyed this video i know it wasn't very entertaining watch it watching toast and it's like watching paint dry isn't it really but i just want to review that pro product I will leave the link to the product in the description below, even if you want, just so you, if you want to put, prove me wrong. But it's, yeah, it's a pile of pants for me. Uh, well, that's it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed being at the get together with me. And yes, I'm in a completely different van right now. But every video needs an ending. And sadly for that weekend, this is it. Uh, there'll be many, many more to come and let me know what you think of that toaster oh my god anyway hope you're all having a good day hope you're staying safe hope you're staying well and we're nearly out of lockdown now so don't start getting silly everybody anyway i'll see you in the next video bye for now